everybody so welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a haul um, it should be pretty quick because I don't have too too much but this is like stuff that I wear when I don't go to work but yeah so I'm just gonna jump right into the haul um, so I went to forever21.com because I saw a lot of youtubers were saying that like it looked like forever 21 had a new designer and they're so right like forever 21 has the cutest stuff now so I got this shift dress okay this looks huge and it's kind of like big on me but I would think but so the re the way wow words are hard the way I'm gonna style this is with like with a big trench coat and some um just some like pumps so I got this gray high neck um shift dress and it's kind of I don't know it's like it's a good length so I can wear it to work which is really nice um, something that's like very versatile that I could wear you know um, going shopping with my friends or like to the office or whatever um, the other thing I got from forever 21 is another great item this isn't too much of a trend yeah these are the only this is like the only yeah <laughs> these are the only two great items great items I got but this is just like a gray turtleneck and I'm loving turtlenecks this season because I just feel like they're so chic and you can dress them up dress them down like you can pair them with some jeans or you can tuck them into a pencil skirt you know you just have so many more options and plus they keep you warm so this one is from forever 21 and it is awesome so I highly recommend checking them out because Seriously, like, I definitely think they got a new designer because their stuff is, like, top-notch. Two thumbs up for sure. Um, another thing I got, like, kind of a while back, um, so I got this t-shirt. This is also oversized. I don't know if you can read it. It says moonshine, and it's this huge, like, deep v-neck, and I kind of wear it, like, off the shoulder, so I definitely wear a tank underneath it. Um, and it is so cute. A really cool detail in the back. I don't know if you can tell but it has that like slit yeah there's like a slit in the back so it's like a tuxedo back ish you know like the fancy piano players how they always like wish behind them and like the tails go that's how I feel like that t-shirt is which is a little weird but um, I think it's really cute really versatile um so yeah um, another thing that I got from that same shopping trip oh, is this leather skirt and it's actually faux leather and it's just like it's it's a line so it's not a circle skirt it's not super like poofy but it's also not a bodycon so it's really flattering it would look good on anybody um so yeah oh I'll also have everything linked down below so you can go check it out and um, hopefully I can find these on the online stores if I can't I'll find something simpler it's telling you words are hard today I will find something similar and link it down below if they're sold out so the next thing that I got is from an Australian boutique and literally I am so obsessed with Australian online boutiques like that's all I shop from now basically except for everything I'm showing you okay so this is the only Australian item but I've been loving their online boutiques this one is um, from Zeni X it's X E N I A boutique.com and it's this turtleneck um, dress so it's like this tank it's a very nice it kind of looks nude on camera but it's more of just like a blush pink so it's this dress and it's pretty I would say it's like moderately um, tight um, but the back is super cute it has this crisscross back and then there's there's this open part right here the only problem with ordering um, from overseas boutiques is the sizing is completely off so you need to make sure that you check the size guides so in the US I'm anywhere from like a four six or eight like depending on the designer but um, mostly average I would say about a size six but with this boutique I'm a size 12 which was like a complete shocker to me because that's just I don't know so this is a size 12 and it fits me like semi perfectly it's a little big but I like it that way just because it is so tight um, if it was any tighter I would feel like I would be a little bit uncomfortable but I'm loving this and I love this slouchy like neck like I wore this out um, for drinks with one of my friends the other night and I wore my trench coat over it with some leopard flats and I literally felt like I, I was like a Parisian model like that's how chic it looked <laughs> don't want to toot my own horn but it was a cute outfit 
Another thing that I've been obsessed with is really, really long skirts. So I'm talking like Kardashians and I think, oh, what's her name? Um, crap, this is going to take me a while. Whenever I'm put on the spot, I cannot think of famous people's names. Am I the only one that's like that? But, um, what's her name? Whatever, I will write it down here of which model I'm thinking of that wears these all the time. But anyway, so I got this skirt from, why do I have this terrible tendency of not zipping things up? Anyways, so I got this faux suede skirt. It's from Misguided. I don't think I've said where anything is from except for the previous dress, but whatever. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. So this is a faux suede skirt. I'm obsessed with this. Seriously, wear it with like a crop top, some heels, and you look like you're straight out of Beverly Hills, but in a good way. Like LA, where like the cool people are that, you know, make fashion trends trends. You look like that. Um, another version of that is from Nordstrom, but it's um, from the... I think it's called like the Savvy Boutique, so it's like the clothing items that aren't extremely overpriced. They're not like super designer, like this is from Leith, L-E-I-T-H, I've never heard of that brand, but I got it from Nordstrom and it's the same style, only in black, only this one is so much better. I paid a little bit more for this black one than the pink, oh by the way, everything in here is extremely affordable, everything is under $100 except for one thing, but... I'll get to that in a minute. So this, I don't know how I'm gonna show this, but I'm not show it, I can show it, I just don't know how I'm gonna link it. So one of my neighbors, she does like monogramming of like anything and everything. Like name it, she monograms it and she has it. So it's really fun to like go to her house and kind of just see what she has that's new. She has really cool cups and towels and stuff like that. And she had this poncho. So if you have been living under a rock, ponchos are in target has them everyone has them you need one so when i saw that she had these i had to pick it up because first of all it has a hood so that's cool and it's black which is my favorite color what i really love about it is it has like tassels at the bottom so it gives it that like extra trendy feel of like the fringe or whatever so it's not just plain black with nothing and um, she monogrammed the corner of it in black thread, so it's really um, subtle, that's the word. So it's really subtle, so if you're looking for it, you can see it. If I show it to you, you can see it. But when I just have it draped over my shoulders, you can't really see it, which I think is nice because sometimes monograms can be a little bit obnoxious and not very versatile. But, okay, well, I can't find it. I would show it to you if I could find it, but I can't. That's how well it blends in, which is awesome. Last two things are shoes, and the first pair, I'm so obsessed with these. These were only, like, 40-something dollars, which is a complete steal for anybody that's a shoe addict and knows that for some reason shoes are now expensive. So this is what they look like, and they're not that bad of a heel. I would say it's, like three inches, two and a half, three inches, and then it just has fringe. So they are so unbelievably cute. And um, yeah, I wore them to a football game once. Again, got thousands of compliments. And they're actually not that bad for not having a um, platform. They're actually extremely comfortable. For black over the knee flat boots. I had gotten to the point where I was going to splurge on some Stuart Weitzman 50-50, well, they're like the 50-50 boot, only they're called reserves. So you have like a little bit bigger of a heel and they come up a little bit higher onto the knee. So I was thinking about dropping like 655 of my hard-earned dollars on a pair of stupid boots. The boots actually don't fit me, especially if they're over the knee boots, if they don't have that elastic in the back, which is also really hard to find on a pair of cute boots because I'm not about to spend $50 on a pair of boots that look like they're $50 because, ew. I went to Bloomingdale's. I had a gift card that I had won at my office. Um, so I was going to go look and try them on. And then while I was trying them on and I was like, oh my God, I shouldn't try these on. I'm going to buy them. I saw it in the corner of my eye, these. Okay. So these are actually a lot cuter. It's suede all the way around instead of like the elastic in the back and I was like you know what why don't I just try them on they may fit me 
who knows so i try them on and they fit like a freaking glove and i was like you know what i know you're probably gonna be mad at me mr salesman but i kind of want these first off they are only a hundred and like seventy something dollars which is mind you a fifth of the price of the stuart weitzman's Duh. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That would really help me. And also hit the hit that subscribe button because, like I said, I'm trying to get back into this. So that's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. Bye, guys.